The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let us soap, let us soap, let us soap. Yeah, I'm super bored. Um, I hate inclement weather, snow, rain, you name it, but snow is the worst. As you can see, I need to wash and blow dry and do something to this. It's crazy. Um, but at any rate, sad face. Oh, I'm going to miss you guys because this is, and I'm sorry if you hear any in the background. It's probably my earpiece rubbing up against my shirt, but you already know the deal with this iPad. But as I was saying, um, this is going to be the last soaping video of 2017. We're going to come back in 2018 with oldies but goodies, new soaps, different projects. Hopefully I'll be able to get my friends to make their schedules a little more available and open for me so that they can come and um, we can have like a little soaping party and you know, whatever have you, we can make some products and stuff like that together. So I wanted to come to you guys with another cold process soaping video and I decided to do again another Castile soap because I love the smell of extra virgin olive oil. I just can't get enough of it and as you know the first or the previous Castile soap is not scented, it's not colored or anything and we're going to do this one the same exact way. I just wanted to make full bars for you guys so once it's available and ready which will be in 2018 you guys will be able to purchase it from off of my Etsy and whatever soaps and you know body products don't sell over this season of course you know it'll be even cheaper so keep your eyes open for more sales um, to come but at any rate come along with me and my hair <laughs> and my body garbage logo and let's make some soap alrighty ladies and gents so we're back I'm done serenading you I promise let me just move my stick blender over this way so I can have a little more room and you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing <laughs> excuse me I'm just trying to make sure my earpiece is plugged in Okay, have our scale here. Lye water all ready to go. I made that last night, so it's cool already. And then we have some more olive oil. And we're just going to measure that out as soon as I remove this and make it zero. Okay. And, you know, I didn't think, you know that I was going to like making cold process soap. I like making the soap, but I'm, I still need to work on my patience. So let's hope that for Deborah and Body Garbage <laughs> in 2017, the patience ratio goes all the way up. So we're gonna measure out our oils or oil I know it looks quite a lot. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just doing a little math in my head. So that's where the pause came in. As you can see, we just about use this container. And this has about, I'm going to tell you in a sec. Let me shut up before I pour too much oil, which won't be too much of a problem. But. 
This is about 51 fluid ounces. So I might have over poured. So what I'm going to do is take my little handy dandy bucket and my scale over to a more even and flatter surface because for some apparent reason this, I don't know, this table is just my frenemy. <laughs> So I'm going to cut you off. I'll be right back. I'm going to remeasure this, make sure it's the correct amount. And then we're going to come back, pour in our lye and mixy mixy and, you know, do all that good stuff. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. And as you can see, that was a massive overpour. Thank goodness these little dollar store buckets have a spout on it. And this is like seven ounces more in here that I overpoured in this bucket. Um, do not worry yourself I'd never pour my um well make my lye solution over here on this table I just make my soaps and it's always good to have a backup which I have my counter behind me and that's more a more level surface than this so at any rate have our goggles on already our lye solution is already mixed and I'm just going to put my gloves on so I really don't need a mask and I can continue to talk to you guys. So I hope you guys have been checking out my Etsy because I'm having a massive sale going on until next Thursday, which will be December 21st. Um, I will be closing down my Etsy shop until about the 3rd of January the 3rd or the 4th of January I'm going to be making some orders myself for more raw materials so that I can make you guys more products and videos <laughs> but yeah right now everything um, that I have in my Etsy is on sale 40% off no minimums no exclusions no codes you can just go in there Check and see if you like anything, and boom. Like, I have soaps that are, like, right now, $3 and some change because of the percentage off. So we're going to pour this. I'm just going to pull this back a little so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pour this um, solution down the shaft of the stick blender. Make sure we have everything out. As always, we mix this up a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see this and it's not too blurry on your end. Burp and blend. to over mix this with your stick blender because you will burn your motor out <clears throat> and you'll have to buy another one that's why it's good to start off with one of these cheaper ones from a uh, Walmart or you know a place like that but as I said this has um, held on for quite some time I've had this for a couple of years now and it has not conked out on me once, and I do mostly hot process soap. So you can imagine with the separation and everything that it goes through, and me having to reblend, <clears throat> excuse me, reblend and mix things, how much I press on this motor. So I'm not going to bore you too much or bleed your ears out. I'm going to continue to mix this. It's emulsified now. Um, see if I can get it to um, trace if not we're going to let it set up and then we're going to come back and mold the soap and see if we have any left over so that we can do um, our little experiment with be okay, back okay guys so i'm back and i'm going to show you in a sec what this looks like it's fully um emulsified at this point and it's a little bit thicker than what it was but um it's still not at a trace where i want it so this is how we're looking um completely emulsified not uh quite yet at trace 
um, well, not a thick pudding trace how I want it to be. So we're going to let this sit. Like I said, I'm going to go do some stuff around the house and I'll be back. Hey, my lovies. And we're back. I was just messing with this to see the consistency of it. And as you can see, it looks like very thick pudding. So I'm just going to give this um, a vanilla pudding, as a matter of fact, butterscotch is my favorite though. But I'm going to give this um, another few buzzes with the stick blender. That's good. With another, um, with the stick blender, and then we'll mold it and see if we have any left over to do our little surprise experiment. to give it an extra quick little um, buzz for a few with the stick blender again just to make sure of the consistency all throughout that it's you know all one consistency and I'm loving my new spatulas especially this little one right here this little guy that I'm using now scraping all the little bits from the inside before with the big spatula that I had I wasn't able to do that and I was constantly buzzing my stick blender in a water soap solution in order to get it fully clean before I actually washed it with um, my dish rag that I use for my soaps so I'm just going to smooth down the sides again, and as you can see, it's still fluid, but it's a thick pudding consistency. And let's not spill any out of our container before time. Now, I am, um, even though this is the last soaping video, I'm still going to come to you with the cut but I'm going to allow this one, um, this time, instead of being in the mold for 48 hours, I'm just gonna let it sit there until the new year. So in the new year, we'll come back with um, the cut of this soap. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna turn around and get my mold. After I hurt myself <laughs> from um, hitting myself with that box, and now we're going to mold and then shape the soap. This is pouring like a dream, like you don't even understand right now. This is amazing. I never knew that I would actually like cold process soap. Okay. Let's 
break down the size of this, see how much I have left. Let's see if I can do my little experiment with you guys. It should be enough. Hopefully, if not, we'll make it enough. Alrighty, folks, and we're back. So, as you can see, I have this little silicone cupcake mold here. And I have two. I doubt if I'll be able to um, use two, but we're going to see what happens. So, obviously, now you know the little secret du jour that I want to bring to you guys is trying a little soapy cupcake. Now... This will be my first soap cupcake. I made bath bomb cupcakes with, you know, a little truffle type of bubble bar on top. But I want to, oops, I want to keep these as natural as possible. You already know that I make natural soaps. Um, so what I'm going to do is just pour this in, fill it see how much I have left over and see the real experiment is to see if we can actually make a um, make a topping for this so I'm going to pour in my essential oils lemongrass and uh, cedar wood just a little because this is a very very small amount it's probably about I want to say maybe six ounces. Lemongrass is very, very strong and sweet. I must buy some more of this. And these are from Essential Depot, by the way. I love their essential oils. First of all, the price is magnificent. That's one. And they're pure. And they guarantee that they're the finest quality around the world. So, we choose to use them. And I get some of my fragrances, um, what I have in the past from Nature's Garden. Oh, wipe out from Nature's Garden. I've also gotten some from um, Crafter's Choice or Wholesale Supplies Plus. And this just loosened this up quite a bit. <laughs> Wholesale Supplies Plus. I've gotten some fragrances from um, Brambleberry. I've gotten some from them as well and some samples. And their sample of key lime pie is actually what I made my key lime pie dessert soap out of. And it smells magnificent. With just that little bit I used and it, I mean, oh my god, like I want to eat it myself. So let's pour and we'll see how much we have to pour into each one. I might only be able to do one <clears throat> because I am, you know, trying to pipe on the top. And that's fine. Maybe I'll give one away. Okay. Straighten that out right there. And I love these little guys because you don't need to necessarily sit it into anything. It's silicone, so it withstands on its own. Now, let me see if I have enough in order to... Let me just jig it just in case there's any air bubbles. But let me um, see if I have enough to pour in here and still um, be able to pipe in this one. If not, we're just going to scrape it out and I'll mixy mixy this. I'm not going to be piping that much anyway, so. Well, it left us with a little bit of something. So, what we're going to do now, once again, just like how the other soap, we're going to let these set for about another hour or so. I'm going to come back and let this little bit set up in here. We're going to mix it and see if it gives us 
um, if it fluffs up and, you know, get to that creamy consistency, that thick consistency that we need for piping. Alrighty, folks, it's been about 20 minutes. Um, so I'm going to, this seems to have thickened up quite a bit. So right now I'm just going to go get my little stick. You know what the stick is. <laughs> and, um, then I'm going to see if I can, um, do the tops of these two cupcakes and we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided to change my mind and go with um, the back of the spoon instead of the spatula. And this is how the top of the soap came out. And you will be able to see the cut of this in 2000. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Um, I was able to do one. The frosting is not going to be that high on these because I didn't have enough soap. But, um, and I really wasn't able to whip it up, so I just let it set up some. So that'll be something um, for you guys to think about if you want to make, <clears throat> excuse me, 100% Castile soap cupcakes. Um, first of all, make enough soap batter <laughs> to pipe. And secondly, um, just make sure that it sets up enough so that you can pipe it onto the cupcake. So we'll just use what we have left and I'll show you what I did. You just step to the side so you can see. It's the middle. And I just came around. And I'll probably be keeping this one for myself <laughs> since it came out like this. But it's okay. Like I said, trial and error and experimentation. So there you have it. Soap cupcake for 100% Castile soap. And the soap loaf that we made earlier. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, you can leave a comment below if you like to try one of these and, uh, well, try this one and I'll put it on reserve for you and let it cure and everything. Just shoot me an email, um, or you can leave your email in the comment below and I will contact you with further information. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments below. You can also find all of my social media information as well as my Etsy website in the description box below. Please don't forget to shop those holiday sales. Everything on the site is 40% off, including clearance. There are no minimums, no codes, no exclusions. Everything applies in this sale. It's the end of the year sale, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a blessed new year. And I will see you guys in the new year to cut the soap and to reveal how the soap cakes, um, cupcakes came out. I may or may not post um, a video um, for Christmas and for New Year's Eve. So we'll see. But for right now, this is the last soaping video of the year. Thank you guys again for watching. Be blessed and good night.